Welcome to the Wake Before the Day podcast with my parents, Clark and Bobby. We'll talk about the Bible and the Holy Spirit adventure. Thanks for listening. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in on your Monday. Clark and I are here in the studio. Whether you're listening on the podcast or watching, we're so glad to be with you. Yes, we are. Today, we are jumping into Ephesians chapter 2. Really a ton of stuff in Ephesians chapter 2. Like so many different things that um, you could chew on throughout the day. The Holy Spirit might be lifting for you. So we're just going to kind of walk through the chapter and talk about what stuck out to us. Mm-hmm. And one of the first things that Clark and I will do often, you know, in the morning or throughout the day is just kind of, well, what did you learn about God um, in the reading? You've heard us ask that before. And yeah. so that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. And ultimately, um, throughout Ephesians chapter two, I'm, it, it's just so good. But what you see is that literally God's desire for us is that we that we worship him, that we enjoy him, and that yeah. we partner with him, that we actually yeah. enjoy Emmanuel, God with us. Mm-hmm. Um, and th- there's so many details, though, <laughs> that yeah. are in there. And so that's kind of where we're going to start, because you see, um, like he's talking about being dead in our transgressions initially, but then we get to this place where really God's desire with part, you know, from Genesis two, we know that God desires relationship with us. That's mm-hmm. why he created us, yep. but also because he wants to share with us. He's so generous. Yeah. And so he made us to be rulers and heirs. Yeah. And that's where we kind of get to a little bit here. Yeah. And Paul's the one who often uses that mm-hmm. language of being a co-heir with Christ or being an yeah. ambassador of Christ or being part of God's family. And so when you look at Genesis 1 and 2, yeah. reading you know Ephesians 2 made me go back to that. When God created, and he created like Adam and Eve in his image, he created them to rule over all of creation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they're to reign and rule with God. They're like little a prince and princess under the king already saying, you're to rule mm-hmm. over everything I've made mm-hmm. and to be good stewards with what I've given you. Obviously, that's Genesis 1 and 2. Genesis 3 comes, <laughs> hits the fan, downhill. <laughs> sin comes in. Uh, But as Christ comes and redeems us, and like you said, he is Emmanuel, God with us, it's from that point on, the Spirit's been given and is inviting us to, again, step into our rightful spot, Mm -hmm. ruling and reigning with God, giving glory to God as his kingdom comes. And so if you look at verse 6, Ephesians 2, verse 6, It says, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in the kindness to us in Christ Jesus. And so it's like pointing to some kind of authority that we have in Christ because of what Christ has done. Mm -hmm. And as I look at that, I love it because it's just a reminder that he's called us, go back to Genesis 1 and 2, like remember your roots, remember your lineage, remember the call yeah. I've placed in your life. It's to be rulers and reigners mm-hmm. with Christ in this world. I think off, all too often I forget that yeah. and kind of more focused on you know my little world. And God's actually saying like, you have great importance and you need to be a steward over much of what I've, all of what I've given you, but even more creation itself. Yeah take care of it. Well, and it's easy to forget. I love in the message version, this chapter starts out and it says that, um, you know, culture or the earth is telling you how to live and they have no business doing that. Yes. And so it's easy to forget, you know, who we are in Christ because we're listening to the noise of the world Mm -hmm. instead of this intimate reminder in scripture saying, no, that's not true. Don't yeah. listen. This, you know, in Ephesians two, literally, this is who you are. Yeah. And so. Yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. You're, you're made in the image of God. Yeah. You are important. You're a son. You're a daughter. You're a co-heir. Mm-hmm. You're reigning and ruling with Christ. And you have to ask yourself, like, why? Like, yeah. why would God do this? And like, <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? And, mm. and that's a question you have to address because. Oftentimes we might get, I don't know, inflated ego or a big head. Oh yeah, from so this. that no one can boast. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so yeah. no one can boast. Like, why mm-hmm. is it that we get this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just because of God's grace. Yeah. Yeah. Verse eight. It's because yeah. God's good. So yeah. I don't know. You, you were sharing. You went to the library with our kids this week, and you're renting <laughs> some books out. And our oldest was kind of tapping into like, really. The brokenness of humanity. If you know Kirby at all. Talk to us about shark fin soup, Bobby. I know. Shark fin soup. If you, I, you know, sometimes your kids will have this desire or passion. Like, where is that coming from? Like, I didn't know you were into this at Kirby all. Kirby could be like Captain Planet. 
she just is so passionate about the rightful treatment of animals and the earth. Yeah. And so we're right now we're kind of learning a lot about the ocean. Um, and so we're learning about creatures in the ocean. And so we wanted to get some shark books at the library. Yeah. There's a lot of shark attack books. I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah funny that. story with that real quick tangent. Oh, what? Well, we're going to the beach and we're swimming. <laughs> and so Kirby's learned to read at the same time. And she's like, dad, are there sharks out there? I'm like, yeah, but they're like way out there. They're not going to hurt us. And so she's still asking this question and, and she learns to read like fast forward a couple of weeks. We go on a date, we come yeah, home yeah. and she's like in tears. She's like, dad, you're a liar. You lied to me. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just got home. It's good to see you too, sweetheart. She's like, Sh- the shark bit off Bethany Hamilton's arm, the soul <laughs> surfer, her arm's gone. I'm like, how do you know that? She's like, I read it in a book. You lied to me. I'm like, oh my goodness, she's uh, never going to get in the ocean again. I'm like, yeah, well, she, 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 the tiger shark thought she was a seal. It happens sometimes, but it's not going to happen to us. First We're of all, okay. you can read all that. Yeah, that and like, when, when did you start <laughs> reading, you know? Oh man. So anyways, now from then, she's yeah. like stirred in her yes. like a desire to love the tiger sharks. Even though they bite people on accident sometimes. It, right. That's not usually She was talking me about so how rare. blubber the other day, like they know we don't have blubber. So after they take a nibble, they realize Clark's not going to taste good. So they go for, look for a seal <laughs> oh somewhere. Oh my goodness. Anyways, Reel it in. Back to you. Reel it in, Corver. Sorry. We are at the library. Kirby's, we're in this corner where she's passionate about this. We're looking, well, a couple of these books, you know, are, they're probably for an older <laughs> audience. And so they're talking about... Um, like it, how sharks, you know, can become endangered in some areas yeah. because of hunting. And, and these guys that <laughs> that make shark fin soup. And it's not funny, you guys. But in the it's moment, not. Kirby is no. just broken. And she's like, Mom, w- humans don't deserve any. We don't deserve animals. animals. Yeah. We don't deserve the earth. We don't. And it was in that moment that we're, we're literally having an Ephesians 2 conversation. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 talks about you being dead in your sin. And, mm-hmm. you know, because right now, Clark, we're talking about how we're co-heirs, and that's our true identity in yeah. Christ. But it's out, it's coming from a place actually of total, total, uh, what's the word I want? Dep- de- depravity. Depravity. Yep. <laughs> Deprivation. Yeah. Anyway, and so I'm, I'm dialoguing with Kirby about this. And, and I'm just saying, you're right, Kirby. Yeah. We don't. We don't we deserve don't, animals. We don't steward things well. We are sinful people. We do deserve mosquitoes. We, we That's another thing. Those animals what? are the worst. And so... Insects. Anyway, so we're out of this conversation then. We, uh, mm. We're we talking about, you know, just why people hurt people, why people hurt animals. Yeah. And we get to this place then like, well, you know, do... Am I, am I going to heaven? Am I, you know, what, 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 how do we do it? What do you mean? And yeah. so we've had these conversations with Kirby. And, and she literally a- asked you that, right? She said, yes. how do I know I'm going to heaven? Yes. Because if I'm somebody that's so sinful yeah. and if I'm like these people that are eating, she literally asked me, mom, have you ever had shark fin soup? And I was like, I haven't. I'm no. so glad I can answer honestly and straight in your <laughs> eyes. And uh, anyway, she said, well, how come like, Am I going to heaven? What if humans are like this? Because yeah. and if I'm like this, you know, if I'm treating my brothers and sisters badly, if I'm, yeah. and so we got to this place where we were able to get to chapter two, verse eight, where it talks about how she's memorized this now. She has it memorized, and it is in her that we are not saved by our works, but yeah. that we are saved by grace, Let and it is through faith, not a work eight, of ourselves. Nine, yeah, verses eight, nine, and ten. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. For it's grace you have been saved through faith. This is not of yourselves. It's a gift from God, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. by works that nobody can boast. Mm-hmm. We are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, you know, even though it's confusing, Kirby, when we look around at the world and we see all kinds of hurt and brokenness, and even when we look at our own lives and mm-hmm. we see hurt and brokenness, we're, we're confused. We got to come back to truth yeah. and hear the word and believe it and s- put plant in our hearts and know that, mm-hmm. oh, it, it's not because of how good I am. No. It's not. It's because of what Jesus did yeah. and who he is. It's, it's so you hold these two realities in your hand. Yeah. One, God has designed you in his image. You have a great deal of worth and you are loved and God wants you to belong and you're supposed to be a ruler and a reigner with Christ yeah. over all that he's created. And the only reason we get to do that is because God is gracious and he's kind mm-hmm. and he's generous. He doesn't want to hog this all for himself. He wants to include you and include us mm-hmm. in taking care of what he's created. And most importantly, loving and blessing other people. 
and it's just by God's grace. Mm-hmm. So there's things that he's called us to do in our life that he's called in advance for us to do that we might not even fully realize what's to happen yet, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's prepared good works in which we're supposed to do. Um, and in that, the last part of Ephesians 2 is you see there's supposed to be this unity between the religious people and the non-religious people, the spiritual people yeah. and the unspiritual people mm-hmm. who come to Christ. And that there's that unity that God wants, mm-hmm. and it's God's grace again. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess that's all I've got. Anything else on your end as you think about Ephesians 2? Shark fin soup. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm just kind of pausing here. And I just want to uh, make sure that I think we shared it, that it's just grace. Yeah, mm-hmm. that it, it's really the gift of repentance to be able to say, you know, I, <laughs> I, I have my own hurts, ham- habits, and hangups. And uh, because of who Jesus Christ is, when we repent and we follow him, that's his invitation is follow me, follow me, follow yeah. me. It's an invitation. Please take the invitation every breath, every moment, every day. Yeah. Um, Holy Spirit empowers us to be able to do that. Yeah. And so I'm just so grateful. I hope you guys read Ephesians chapter two, and I hope you're super blessed by it. I know we both are. I know <laughs> we're going to keep yeah. coming back to it, I'm sure, with uh, our uh, shark fin <laughs> soup stuff. You know what and that reminds what? me of? As you were talking, I had the the voice from the rescuers down under. Bees. <laughs> Be soup. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Uh, yeah, Bianca and what's the what's the little Bernard. Bernard. Yeah. Bernard, darling. Yeah, in the restaurant. Be soup. If you know, you know. <laughs> Going back to my Disney roots, childhood. No Get shark fin here. soup here. Ephesians <laughs> two, you're saved by grace. God, God bless, bless you. Guys. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep you. Don't make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give him his peace. Have a great day.